what I'm about to share with you in this video is going to absolutely game change, blow your podcast editing workflow out the park. Just, just get rid of it, just gone. No longer will you need multiple different tools for editing, for processing your audio, for exporting, for clipping up, for captioning, for distributing, all gone. You need one platform and that is Riverside. Now, I've been using Riverside for quite a while now for my business, for my podcast, and for a whole bunch of other things that you wouldn't really think are podcast platform related, but I've sort of found ways to incorporate it into my workflow. So I'm gonna be sharing with you some of my favorite new features that Riverside have added to their editing workflow, to their clipping, to all their AI tools. So as you can see here on my desktop, this is my podcast. This is my podcast called The Creative Caffeine Podcast. You can check it out on Spotify, YouTube, all those good places. I record my remote interviews for the podcast through Riverside. I also do stuff to my in-person recordings through Riverside as well, which I'm gonna share with you. But let's start with a remote interview, which is what Riverside really is. Its foundation is remote podcasting. So let's say I'm here in the UK. I want to talk to a photographer over in the USA. And I can do that with Riverside, with 4K quality, uncompressed audio. What I've got here on my dashboard is my interview with Jessica Whitaker. She is a Seattle-based photographer. Great conversation, really, really great quality interview as well. Now let's go and edit this podcast. Now, uh, this podcast is already out, but let's say I want to go in and, and re-edit it. As you can see here, I've got a transcript of the entire episode, which, which is brilliant. Absolutely amazing. You can see every word that Jessica and I have said. Text-based editing, oh my God, uh, amazing. It's absolute game changer. If I wanna look for a specific moment of a podcast, let's say she mentions a camera brand, Canon, for example, I can find that and show you every single time she mentions the word Canon. Let's have a little look. She mentions it two times, talking about the camera that she uses, and again there switching from Canon, which is where I was talking about. Now, another feature you can see here, chapter markers. So Riverside uses AI to analyze the audio from the podcast, what we're saying in the transcript, and it breaks it up into chapters. So the importance of a website, um, capturing the essence of New York, which we spoke about, um, creative process and inspiration. That's where I spoke about Jessica's creative process and you know inspiration behind her work. Let's say I don't want a side by side. What a shot of me right there. Let's say I don't want a side by side. Let's change the layout to be full screen. Now it will switch to whoever's talking. Let's say I want a grid again, but let's have it as fit. So I've got both of our 16 by nine frames in there. Let's add a bit of spacing. Yeah, why not? Let's add curved edges. Maybe I want a background as well. Riverside have got some really, really cool, funky little backgrounds. Um, I particularly like this one. Um, this one's really cool. Let's go to export. Now you've got all your options, 4K. Normalize audio levels, let's say my guest's audio is a little bit quieter than mine, it will normalize it, get them both on an even playing field. Let's remove background noise, remove the watermark and export. Let's go to export, good to go. Now another one of my favorite features that Riverside added is Magic Clips. Now this uses AI to generate clippable moments from your podcast which you can use to put on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube Shorts and use that to promote each episode. So let's take one that I've got here. Let's have a little scroll. Let's choose this one. We were talking about a website. So website is your real estate. Now I've already edited this one but it's there. There we go. Look at that. We've got a clip there. Brilliant. Now I can download that. I can even publish it to Spotify if I want to. I'm not gonna publish a 60 second short to Spotify, but that option is there. It also generates show notes as well. Now I'm lazy. I don't wanna be typing too much. I wanna just focus on the conversation, the, the content, the questions, planning out my episodes. So it's got an entire summary of the podcast, which I can put in the description for YouTube, Apple Podcasts, uh, Spotify. It's got some takeaways. Oh, and my favorite thing, this is a game changer, chapter markers. So all of those chapter markers are there. And if people want to skip through the episode to a certain moment, 
that chapter mark is there, it's pasted in the description and on YouTube, they can jump ahead and skip to their favorite moment. Now, this not only works with podcasts that you've recorded with Riverside, like remote episodes, let's take a client episode that I've recorded. So let's take this episode here with a man called Richard Talman. Now, I recorded this podcast in person with my cameras, with my microphones, all in person, lights and everything. This is a low risk preview, but as you can see, this one here was recorded in person, not through Riverside, but I've used Riverside's tools to get me from A to B even quicker. Now I've uploaded the edited podcast into Riverside and I've got all of those features I've mentioned before. I've got a summary, I've got takeaways, I've got chapter markers. This was a long episode, so there's gonna be a lot of chapters. I've got magic clips here as well. Fantastic, so let's take one and go in and edit it. They've got some really, really great tools called Magic Tool. You can set the pace, so if there's pauses, let's have it super fast. That's gonna trim about 9.2 seconds of pauses. Fantastic, that speeds up my workflow, means I don't have to go in and remove every um, ah, and pause. Next thing, it's got captions, so you can choose your style of captions. I know this client likes them pretty simple, so let's have it like that black background, white text, nice and easy. Let's have this fill the frame. And also again, you've got the transcript of each episode. Put a pair of shoes on, you put like a pair, like a, a pair of shoes on. There we go, fantastic. Now, that's not the only magic tool that they've added. There is gonna be a whole heap more, but this next one is one of my absolute favorites. So let's go in, export that, and away we go. Now, another magic tool feature that I love like this, this is absolutely fantastic. So let's go back to this interview here with Jessica Whitaker. Let's say, for example, she doesn't have a microphone. Let's scroll all the way down to our files. So we've got Jessica's video file there. We've got my file there as well. Now, one thing you can do is generate magic audio. Now, this is an absolute game changer. Let's say, for example, you're talking to a guest. They don't have a microphone. They might just be using the microphone from their laptop or from their phone with the Riverside app, which is absolutely fantastic. And I'm gonna share something about that very soon as well. Now, let's say that they are just using their laptop microphone and they don't have a high quality microphone like this right here, which is a designated podcast microphone. We're not gonna use that now. Obviously, a microphone like a lapel mic or a podcasting microphone is gonna sound much, much better than your laptop. So there's a fix for that. So you don't have to spend ages mixing the audio to get it to a place where it's just about usable. Now, let's, so let's generate magic audio. So what's magic audio? It's basically going to make your audio sound like it's recorded with a professional mic in a studio environment. It's gonna get rid of that echo. It's gonna add, you know, a bit of depth to it. It's gonna have a bit of bass to it. It's not gonna to sound too tinny. In a better sense of the word, it's not gonna sound cheap. It's not gonna sound like it's recorded off your laptop microphones, which, which aren't the best. You want your audio from your podcast to sound top notch. Now I've got the Riverside app here. You can see all of my studios. So let's click on Jessica's one again. Now let's go in as if we're going to record the interview. So it's gonna tell me to obviously rotate my phone landscape, which is great. There we go. That looks really cool. Now, one thing that they added to the Riverside app when using your phone is it's gonna have 4K recording capabilities. Now, if you're using other platforms, those who will not be mentioned, that aren't as good, your footage and phone capability is gonna cap at around 1080p. That's what the iPhone sets it as if you're using your phone as a webcam. But with this new feature on the Riverside app, it allows users to transform their mobile phones into high def webcams, offering 4K resolution. This is basically surpassing Apple's cap when it comes to recording from 1080p to 4K. And another great thing as well, let's say you want two cameras, you can also click here and use your phone as a second camera. That's mad, that's actually crazy. Let's, uh, let's get out of there. So as you can see, Riverside is filled with incredible features that really do speed up my workflow from recording my own podcasts to managing and clipping up, distributing and editing my clients' podcasts. What 
I often do is I can sit in, what I often do for my client's podcast is I can sit in as producer, which basically means that I'm in the call, but I'm not being recorded, but I'm there to make sure everyone's set up, comfortable and good to go, make sure their camera angle's right, make sure if they've got a microphone that is plugged in and connected and all that sort of stuff. The basic role of a producer. Now, as you can see from the screen, your Magic Audio is ready to download and you can find it in your recording files. Now, let's go in and edit this podcast and we can preview the magic audio and what it sounds like. So let's get rid of myself and let's just focus on Jessica's audio here. So this is what it sounds like without the magic audio. And then it's also kind and encouraging, which is kind of the opposite of the other Facebook groups I had joined. Cool, that sounds good. But let's add magic audio to it and let's see what it sounds like now. I know now a lot of the groups have developed. That sounds a lot more life. fuller. That sounds a lot fuller. It's got a lot more bass to it. I'm really, really happy with that. So big thumbs up to Magic Audio. I've been an avid fan and user of Riverside when it comes to creating my content, clipping up my content and using it for my clients work as well. I've been using them way before they got in touch with me to actually make this video and before we started a professional relationship. So. If you want to check out Riverside for yourself, I've got a link in the description. Use my link and you can get a nice little discount as well, which, you know, we all love a discount. Happy days. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.